Hey guys, welcome back to a new lesson. Today we're going to learn about creative transition with Anthemora 12. Before we start, I want to express my relationship with transition, which has never been that good. I never actually liked transitions that much. So I decided that this is a perfect example to teach you guys how to make transitions without actually making them look like they are transitions because I've never just been a fan of a drag and drop transition. They just don't look good. Doesn't matter if you're going from a drone shot to a camera shot, from a GoPro to a drone, every transition should be planned ahead and it shouldn't just be a drag and drop plugin. Before we start editing, let's download Filmora 12. Click the link below, click download, install it, and now you're ready to follow along this tutorial. In this specific video, we're gonna cover the cut to motion transition. This is just a simple cut, but if done well, it can make your transition look seamless. The reason is because if you're looking at the scene wide and then you're looking at the same scene medium or close up and you cut in between them it's a transition that just makes sense so your eye and your brains are ready for it which means this transition will look extremely seamless this is all this transition is about transitions are not fancy zooms or pans or whatever that is transitions has to be a way to switch between two shots without the audience to actually noticing the cut so every time i go out and shoot i actually make sure that whatever i'm shooting i'm getting wide I'm getting a medium shot and I'm getting a close-up shot so I can cut in between them. If it's an action shot, I always make sure to get a wide shot and then a medium shot so that I can cut in between them within the action seamless. All right, here's an example. Let's have a quick look at this sequence. And then let's look at this sequence which is randomly cut between each other. Can you see the difference? To me, it's incredible. Cutting to the right pace, to the right motion can make or break your videos. So remember to pay attention when shooting and remember to just script your transition beforehand. Now just make them up in post-production. Now let's take a look at these two shots for example. The first one is some coffee beans just falling and the second one is coffee actually pouring. If we just make a simple cut in between these two shots, it's just not gonna look smooth. But if we add a bit of motion in between the two shots and the motion is the exact same motion from the start of the first shot to the finish of the second shot, this will make our transition so much better. Again, these two shots were not thought through. These two shots weren't thought to be cut together. But by adding some motion and we're cutting to motion, they work. It's all about getting creative and trying to find out the best way to cut between two shots without letting the audience actually see these cuts. So next time you go out and shoot either pre-scheduled transition or while you're in the field and shooting, just think about how can I make two shots match each other? How can I make these two sequences match with each other? So just actually think it through, don't just shoot a bunch of stuff and then hoping for the best. That's it for this one, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.